Well, good morning. Welcome to day two of my Sand Hill Crane photography trip. Just a couple minutes before sunrise. Um, not looking too promising for sunrise, but you never know. The sun could hit the horizon and light those clouds up. So I don't want a, a full wide open sky. I want clouds there, but I just want enough of an opening or enough thin clouds that the sun's going to shine through and then have the birds fly through that sunrise. So it's a shot I've done many times. Um, but it's just kind of a fun way to start the day. Um, the, this is the uh, area I come to all the time. You know, the river's about a mile behind me, and then the birds are heading to the fields to the south, so they usually fly right across the sunrise. Um, we've had a couple big liftoffs from the river this morning. Luckily, a lot of those birds went back to the river, but there are some groups that went out uh, to the fields already. So. We'll see. Uh, I don't know. It was, both of them were like something was spooked because it was literally every bird just took off and it was like this black cloud of smoke coming up off the river. If I, if I knew it was going to happen, I would have the other camera out with the lens on. I could have got some cool video of them lifting off, but uh, just still neat to see in person. So going to get everything ready and then hope here in a few minutes the sun at least puts a little color over there and uh, get some get some good sunrise pictures with the cranes so stay tuned all right well over a half hour now after sunrise and there's still no light the sky looks exactly the same as it has for the last 45 minutes or so uh there's a lot of birds there's still a lot more lifting off we just had another huge lift off so uh kind of waiting it out i'm not taking too many photos uh did get the full moon setting right below the clouds so i got a couple photos of that which i think one of them is going to be pretty cool got a couple photos of the lift off just you know to show you on the video what the what the lift off looks like from this distance away and uh just kind of hanging out enjoying the morning so i'm gonna keep waiting here see if we get any light over there in that little gap i think we're not going to get anything right now but it's really, you know, yesterday was kind of a half day. Uh, today is the first full day. And from this afternoon on, the forecast looks great. So not wasting wasting too many photos yet. But um, taking a few here and there, selective shots. And then uh, I just know that the got a lot of good good photography ahead of us. So see what, uh, see what happens. So. The lighting never really improved that morning, so we headed to town and grabbed some breakfast. It's hard to get motivated with the gray skies when you know the forecast for the rest of the trip keeps looking better and better. So we headed to town, ate, and then headed back to the park we were camping at. The park has an old railroad line that runs through it that's been converted to a bike trail. And the bike trail goes over an old wooden trestle across the river, and we've heard that there is great crane viewing from that trestle. We still needed a place for photography on our very last night, so we wanted to check it out and see if we could use it as a possibility for that evening. After exploring the bridge, we headed back to camp where we hung out for a few hours, made an early dinner, and headed off to the bird blind. Tonight's routine was the same as last night. We arrived at Rose Sanctuary, waited for our group to get there, had a little time for question and answer with the guide, and then hiked out to the photography blind. The photography blind was the furthest west blind from the visitor center, probably a half mile, maybe a little bit more, and took about 20 minutes to get out there. The blind had the same layout as the previous night, and with reduced capacities again this year, there was plenty of room for all of us to spread out. The weather on the evening of day two was perfect. Blue sky with plenty of high clouds to add nice texture and hopefully reflect some beautiful sunlight. Now let's just hope the birds arrive early enough to make use of these great conditions. As the sun started to set, there still were hardly any cranes flying over. They were all in a field on the north side of the river, crossed from us. But after the sun went down, something spooked the cranes and they all came towards us and put on a show like I have never seen before. I didn't get very many good pictures, but check out this video here.
Every spring when I set out on my sandhill crane photography trip, my goal is to get great photos of the cranes. Sometimes the things I see, the photos just don't do them justice, and tonight was definitely one of those nights. The video I just showed you is way more captivating than anything I photographed that night. Being there was an amazing experience, and I'm just glad I was there to witness this massive liftoff of cranes over the Platte River well after sunset against a beautiful Nebraska sky. Thanks for tuning in to day two of my Sandhill Crane photography trip. Please be sure to check out days three and four where the cranes, weather, and photography greatly improve.